Well, guys, this is a bit of a shocking twist. So at the end of the Hunger Games game they played tonight, Chanel's team won. Chanel has got immunity from eviction. Trisha's team did not win. And Jenkin is now up for eviction. Look how the scene played out. It's very interesting. Oh, my God. That is awful. I am more than happy for you four to say my name, because let's think about this. You've been up twice. You were up first week, and then you've been up again with the Halloween. Jenkin, it's your birthday, so happy birthday. And Yin Ren, you've been to jail. And so if the crowd loves me, they love me. If they don't, they don't. And I really, really respect that. So that's what I think. Of course, I am in the same boat as you. I know I haven't faced public vote. I was willing to come in here and say the exact same thing as you, and I'm willing to walk up with it. I'm so scared of the eviction every time a nomination. So the best way to stop being scared is to face it. And I always feel like I'm the minor one in the house. I don't want to be the person who not being nominated because People forget to nominate me. I want to be up because I am a part of this show. I take this as an opportunity to me. <laughs> yeah, when I want to say you, you, you're not minor in the house. Definitely not. I know I am. No, don't think that. No one forgets about you ever. That's horrible to hear you say. And I hope that I've never made you feel that way because I love having you in the house, so don't ever think that people think that you're not there because you are. I'm actually happy for people not to nominate me. <laughs> um, I still feel quite intense from yesterday after surviving nominations. Um, and so the pettiness in me would initially want to nominate the people that I felt like cornered me, which would be Olivia or Jenkin. It is now time to name the tribute you want to face eviction on Friday. Jordan, I'm going to go with you. Yeah, um, thank you. That's because we've had hardly any interaction in the house. Mm -hmm. When it has, it's been sarcasm, and sometimes it makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay. Jordan, I'm going to go with you purely because I have massive respect for what you said. Of course, Jenkin. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm I'm sick of racing you to get to the refreshment fridge. So that's <laughs> that's about it. But I do find you amusing, even though we don't speak. I'm gonna go with Jenkin. I always want to try to talk to you, but a lot of a lot of the time I got is a greeting and a walk away. Okay, I'm really sorry if you felt like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I... It's okay. Honestly, I, it's, it's okay. I'm gonna go with, um... I'm gonna nominate... Um... <sighs> Jenkin. Yesterday, when you was upset, I poor going, I really felt the brunt of it. And it shocked me a lot. And I think in your defense, I think you have forgotten that I had experienced some anxiety from being up as well. Uh, to be honest, that's all I got. I want, I want to say something more insightful. Yeah. Useful, no, your reasons are totally valid. But and I accept it, it's totally fine. That's, that's all I got. This is really horrid. It's worse than I thought it was going to be. This is 10 times worse than what we've had today. It's very brutal. Can one tribute confirm who has been chosen to face the public vote on Friday? The majority of the group went with Jenkin. Unfortunately, has been one of my best friends, but that's just the way the cookie has crumbled today. But Jenkin's going to take the coin today. Jenkin, you are now up for eviction. Happy birthday, babes. On top of the world. Gotta say, massive respect for Jordan here, who is a real gentleman putting himself forward, I thought, and his reasoning 
was great. I felt Yin Run really came out as really quite, I felt she really kind of aired her grievances very eloquently and was quite touching. And again, Trish got to say about Jenkin and Olivia, especially Jenkin and how he confronted her. There was no way Olivia was going to go for Jenkin. It was, it was quite good, this scene. I thought it really kind of, they had to be really quite raw and honest, and I thought that was yeah, that was good. And I think it's fine that Jake has been nominated. He hasn't been nominated at all yet, which is remarkable. A bit sad for him that it is his birthday, but as Olivia said at the end, happy birthday, babe. 